Hi and Assalamualaikum. It's me Tina Amir. So this is not going to be the video about Malay lesson. This is just some sharing from me and I hope it's going to benefit you. And if it's not you, maybe your friends, maybe your family members, right? Basically, I told you what happened to me a few years back. The situation is bad. I won't deny but the mentality make it worse. So what happened is that when you pursue study, before that, you sign the agreement and you were young. Okay, You didn't know that your decision at that time really takes a toll on your mental health. So you basically going through life, living but not living, basically just surviving but inside you are dead. So you were living in that kind of mode for so many years. So if you quit, that means you're going to have to pay everything. So that's basically what we all trying to avoid. And then you anyway going through life, not knowing. In the end, you anyway have to quit. So uh, during that time, you were just forcing yourself without thinking of other alternatives. And that's how the mentality um, screw you up even more. So why is that like that? Because of the agreement. So you were thinking, even if you know you like something else, it's no point because you're already there, right? There's no turning back. That's what actually uh, bothering me all these years. You know, oh, I don't like this, but I don't have any option. And I didn't think of any alternative because if I knew alternative, I was thinking I cannot go to that anyway because of the situation is like that. So when I had to quit, all of a sudden, I was without a plan. And worst of all, I was lost because I didn't know what I really want. It was years of struggling and finding out what actually you really want. And it's a really big struggle because not knowing what is there out there. And what we've been told before, because I was from the program, IB program, and at that time, IB program is supposedly for outside, not for inside of Malaysia. So not many universities will accept. So what happened to my seniors who dropped out from the university, they had to start from scratch. It's kind of like sad, right? For example, studying abroad for many years, about to graduate, but need to drop out. And then came back to Malaysia. They still have interest in doing medicine. So they anyway continue from the first year. So that is for people who are interested to go through again because they're interested with the study. But what if they not, you know, like me? I was in that category. I was not interested at all, uh, but basically forcing myself. Uh, but anyway, every cloud has silver lining. So I was turning to internet. But because of internet, because of the YouTube, I meet so many wonderful people. That helps me to survive the tough years because at that time, it was bad and you full of suicidal thoughts. I try to recover by myself, of course, with the support from others. But Corona also not much help in that situation. So again, fell so hard. And then I was thinking, how this? Is it start all over again when it's already so difficult? So I contacted the Malaysian Qualification Agency and explained to them about my situation. And then they told me about this program. So I'm going to tell you about this program in the next video because I don't want to take away the time babbling too much. If I talk about that, then it will be another video. Uh, but I want to say here to those of you, when we were young, we make a stupid mistake like a lot because we were basically uh, living in the environment. We follow our environment, right? And many of us end up, especially the degree students, uh, didn't like what we're doing. We basically listen to the surroundings. Doesn't matter if it's friends or parents. And before it was worse than now. Because now at least you get a lot of exposure from the internet. Before, not so much, right? My message here for those of you degree student or diploma student who are not interested with your course, if possible, persist for now. I was not planning to quit back then, but I had to. So you don't quit. Why? Because, let's say for example, you finish with your diploma. Of course, diploma to go to the degree will be difficult because degree so many competitions. But let's say you doing your degree and you don't like what you're studying. Just finish it because when you done with your study, let's say you don't want to enter the workforce using that degree. You can go for master program. And the good thing is that for master program, it's not so competitive. Not many people want to do master's program compared to the degree. 
So basically, even you from different branch, you can just enter another branch. Depends on the condition, terms of, and conditions of the university, of course. So you pursue that one. But if in case if you don't know so what you like, then maybe you go work for something else just to get to know people, get info from them, other than sources from the internet. And also, never think, oh my God, I already start with the, that from the degree. How am I managed to go through the master? Don't think like that because there are so many public universities offer very low a fee. I didn't know too. I was always thinking, why would I think I didn't even have money for that? So when you check the price, it's okay. Very doable. Especially master didn't take long like degree. But of course, depends on the area of your study as well. If you're doing research, if you still not finish with your research, it can be dragged for years. But anyway, in most cases, it's not that long. In case if you struggle with money, you can always do it part-time and also pay even without the loan or asking your family members to help you with that. I know we live especially with the society like here, people rushing you to finish your degree, people rushing you to get married, to settle down, to have kids, those kind of things. And it's a big pressure for you because people keep on comparing. But don't be because no point of you living your life, you hate. And you have only one life. Your life is to live your life, not let others to live your life for you. So if you let them dictate your mentality, then they're living your life. You're not living your life. So they have many lives. You don't have any life. And it's true. Certain things have its own deadline. For example, certain scholarships has certain age. They will accept you to apply. But in case if you couldn't get that, that's also okay, right? Because if you find a good uni, cheap then you can pay on your own while working something else this is something upset me too because when you grow up only you realize that when you were young people telling you if you study hard then you end up good and everything like that and then people belittle other people's job and they think people who has the small jobs is not working hard and everything I put it away sometimes even if you have degree you go for small jobs is to get the exposure is to get the experience for your own soft skill maybe it will have nothing to do with what you're doing in the future but that's going to teach you a lot so to tell children don't be like that don't do this don't do that and compare the people job and looking down at them that is so wrong in so many ways so if you're young it's okay the environment raise you but now you adult don't let that kind of mentality uh, dictate you People who say such thing to others, they will also say to you. So no point of you trying to fulfill what they say or trying to avoid what they say. So you think about your life. Take home message also. If you're not interested with this traditional learning, right? You think your life more than that. It's okay also. Don't feel like discouraged. People have this, people have that. Papers doesn't define your intelligence. Okay, papers just to channel you to certain things maybe you like. If you don't have, but you know how to figure out for your life, that is also okay. Okay, I have also something to share for those of you maybe not interested with this line of traditional one. I see you in the next video to explain more about what I found during my struggle, the information that maybe can benefit you. Okay, thank you so much. Bye.